the math study guide on your assignment sheet for today. Um, I'm having a hard time with my smart board and some of my other technology, so this is what I come up with. I would prefer you do the study guide on your own first. Um, if you don't have time for that, don't really understand, that's perfectly fine. But if you do it first and then just check your answers with me, that is probably the best way to do this from home. Number one, what are the next four numbers in this sequence? Um, these are already done. That's why it'd be really great if you already did it. That way you're not just um, getting answers and you don't really know if you understand or not. So number one, the first three numbers are 14, 21, and 28. Um, that is counting up by seven. So the next four numbers are 35, 42, 49, and 56. Number two, what fraction of a dollar is three quarters? Remember we put how many we have on the top number of the fraction called the numerator and how many it takes to make a dollar on the bottom. We're still struggling with that a little bit. So three we have out of four to make a dollar would be three fourths. A new pair of sneakers cost 42, round to the nearest 10, $42 to the nearest 10 would be $40. Two is closer to 40 than it is 50, or closer to zero than it is 10, I should say. B, use the rounded price to find out how much two would cost. So um, we've seen this in our homework, had a little bit of trouble, 42 times it would be two pairs of shoes with the rounded price. 40 plus 40 is 80. Four, find the missing add end. Um, whenever we have these um, where we're missing a number and we have two add ends to begin with, they're kind of confusing us a little bit. Um, but remember, you just need to put the 10 and 15 together or whatever two add ends you have to make 25 in this case plus something equals 55. We talked yesterday, and I'm afraid I confused you. Um, we'll talk about it when you get back, and it's easier to learn about when you add or subtract when you're missing a number. I will be sure to let you know on your test what you do until we're really good at that. This time, we subtracted because we're adding, we're not subtracting, and we are not missing the first number. Number five, we are just subtracting, um, but it is subtracting across zeros. I highly recommend... Um, you stack and add. I'm not seeing a whole lot of work on some math tests. I feel really bad for giving those bad grades, but if you're just um, not doing your work, I mean, I need you to do your best too as well. So make sure you stack and add these. Borrow when you need to. I had to borrow in the ones because five can't be taken from nothing. I have to have something to take five from. So it became a 10 by borrowing from this one and making it a zero. This zero would have been a 10, and then it became a 9 when I borrowed and gave 1 to this zero. So 100 minus 85 is 15. Number 6, Camille's family bought a couch for $399. Sales tax was $34. Find the total price of the couch. So whenever we have sales tax on something we purchase, it adds more money to what we have to pay. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to add the $34 to 399 and you should get 433 because you had to regroup two times. One foot is how many inches? 12 inches is on a foot. It is a ruler. Um, we should know that. Eight, there are this many team members for each sport at Nancy's school. Write the teams in order from least to greatest. Make sure you're not writing from greatest to least. That's a really sad way to miss a problem. Least to greatest. Sometimes I draw the L and the G at the bottom so I don't forget what order I'm writing them in. Um, tennis was the least with 13, then soccer, and then football. Okay. I would take if you wrote the numbers from least to greatest, but it does say in the directions, write the teams in order from least to greatest. I want us to be really um, good direction followers. Okay. Number nine, we're adding eight three times. As we get into the middle of third grade, we're going to start memorizing our multiplication facts very soon. 
So eight three times, you might have counted up by eights in second grade, is 24. Number 10 is on the next page. What's the length, length of this line segment to the nearest half inch? You may have not have had a ruler, that is okay. Um, this line segment on your paper is one and a half inches. A banana is 83 cents. If Jan pays for the banana with a dollar bill, list the coin she should get back. This is one on your homework that I might say three steps and you guys get really confused, but that's because the real question is what coins should she get back? So first, um, we subtract a dollar and 83 cents and we find 17 cents is how much we should get back and that is equal to a dime, 10 cents, with a nickel to make 15 and two pennies to make 17 cents. 12 in Andy's hand is a quarter, two dimes, and three pennies. How much money is in his hand? Um, so we added a quarter, 25, two dimes, 20, three pennies, 48 cents. Um, I would like the cent sign to go bye-bye. I really want to write our change with a dollar sign and a decimal point. You do not use a cent sign once you go up and beyond um, fifth grade, fourth grade. I just, um, it's a good habit to just write it in this way. 13, $7.45 minus $4.55. Make sure you're putting a dollar sign in a decimal, okay? That's the biggest reason why people are going to miss this. Not because they don't know how to do it, but because they don't have a dollar sign in a decimal. Um, I forgot. Well, I guess that's the subtraction sign I have there, but. Um, here, I did not have to borrow in the ones place, but I did in the tens. Be on the lookout for that. Just because you don't borrow here doesn't mean you don't have to borrow other places. Um, this is from my last year's class when we did this. Don't pay attention to the names. They don't, they're not important. 374 um, is number 14. This is just expanded form for that number. It shouldn't have taken you too much work to do that. 15, sketching these maps is still a little bit of a pain. Um, I'm going to try to grade these as easily as I can. Sketch a map to help solve this problem. John lives three blocks north of Bill. So I just wrote like a B with a box for his house, three dashes, and then John. And then it says Catherine lives four blocks south of Bill. So then that's four. How many blocks is it to, from Catherine's to John's? And if you count all these dashes, it would be seven blocks. Half past 10 at night in digital form would be 10.30. AM or PM has to go at the end of the time, guys. It is the middle of third grade. It has to be there. The length of three big steps is about, they say a big step is about a yard, so about three yards. But we definitely know it's not inches, feet, or miles. Write the number of miles on the odometer with words. We place the comma after the 31, so we say 31,000, then 730. 19, Bob had 33 music CDs in his collection, then he bought 13 more. How many more CDs does he have now? So he added to his collection, and we added, and we have to have a label here, 46 CDs. Point M is what on this number line? You have to know what they're counting by. And you only know that by like trying, trial and error. Um, 280 to 290. I know there's going to be 10 in between here. I definitely don't see 10 lines. So let's start with twos. 282, 4, 6, 8, 290. It is counting by two, so M is 282. Um, that's it for math for today. We'll just take that test when we get back. Um, you'll do another lesson tomorrow. And let me know if you need anything.